Hello, welcome back. I'm making a chest of drawers for shop storage, and this is the second part where I'll make the drawers. The first part where I made the carcass can be found in the description and probably in the recommendations to the right as well. So as with the first part, the early steps were filmed back in February. Here I'm ripping and planing down some pieces of beach for the drawer fronts, and here's how they will be laid out. Returning to present time with better light, I first had one last thing to add to the carcass. These birch sticks are drawer runners and because the panels are plywood I could glue them directly to the sides without uh, grain direction problems. Next I could fit the drawer fronts to their openings. The height was already pretty good as I had used the actual fronts to space out the dividers when building the carcass, so I just had to mark the length, cut them down and plane to my mark on the shooting board. Then I could move on to the sides and backs for the drawers. I decided to use up a bunch of spruce and pine scraps for this. Here's a new thrift store acquisition. Haven't tried it in hardwood yet, but it just flies through this spruce. Because each drawer is a little bit smaller than the next, I just eyeballed the spacing of the tails rather than individually measure and calculate for every drawer. I like to make a little shelf on the inside of the dovetails to make it easier to position and transfer them to the second component, in this case the drawer front. For the backs of the drawers I made a single tail which saves a lot of time.
I should work on my coping saw proficiency to speed this up, but for now I chopped out the socket in the back with my mortise chisel. This is a simple little grooving plane I put together from plywood and the bar of mild steel. The beach is a bit of a struggle to get through with an unhardened blade, but it's really nice on the soft woods. I gave the edges of the groove small chamfers to ease the insertion of the drawer bottoms. Speaking of, here I'm sizing up some 4mm plywood for that. I made sure to align the grain of the plywood to run across the width of the drawer for the traditional look. After some fiddling with the bottom to get it to fit, I could get some glue in the joints and smash it together. Then it was the same procedure seven more times. Right, with all of them assembled and dried, I could plane down the sides, which were left slightly proud of the front. Small out of squareness issues can be corrected here too, I found. I took a few thin shavings of the fronts as well to clean off the marks. Some areas needed a bit of card scraping to get really smooth. That's where I'll end this episode, because this is where I started packing everything up to move to my new shop. So when I'm set up there, I'll be able to make a lid for the top compartment of the chest, and add some drawer pulls, and put a finish on. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.